Simon's Town. You know what I'm looking forward to? Yes. Trying to get as close to that naval base as possible. Well, let's go check. I see a few. Or is it one warship? From here. Cool. Let us see. Let's see. Glen Cane first. Yes. We're driving through Glen Cane to get to Simon's Town. Meet. 
1903. All right. So we always look up the oldest towns in South Africa. Yes. Now, according to our information, Simonstown's the third oldest town. It was founded in 1860. And we think it's separate from Cape Town because it was a town separate still at that point, whereas it's basically a suburb now. Of Cape Town. Yes. Cape Town. So it's the third oldest town. That's no small feat. No. of hotels whether they still hotels I don't know you know these these designs I just get those that, that old vibe and yes. that old style music and everything yeah I know what you mean on the gramophone yes Unfortunately, it's so high. Thank you. 
everyone's coming to have a look at the penguins. Yep. Our first little penguin, and we're still sitting in the car. <laughs> Taking a walk to see if I can find the penguins. There we go, down to the penguins. I took the pictures myself. But he wasn't This is eh? Looks like the one comes comes back to look after the eggs and then the other one leaves to go and feed. That's wild. Eh? <laughs> there must be I think the one came out from under those rocks. I think there's eggs under those rocks over there. Oh, 
called boulders. That's right. When That's I came out there, I said, I know why it's called boulders <laughs> now. Alrighty. How amazing that um, they say the colony is 3,000 strong now, eh? Yes, and in 1982 there were only two breeding pairs left. Right. Wild. Totally so wild. So I say it's like wild conservation efforts. Yeah. That, that's honestly amazing. And very successful. Yeah. And in 1910 there were one and a half million. Country club for the golfers, Simonstown. Look at that white rock in the ocean. Yeah. Salt as the drives. Froggy Pond Resort. Oh, look how cool this is, uh, Jubilee Square. Just nuisance. Great Dane, the only dog to have ever been enlisted in the Royal Navy. Served 1939 to 1944. And he was buried with full military honors in 1944. Wow, this is cool.
Simonstown Keyside Hotel. This is a holding down a snake. So we're going to go look for just nuisance's grave site now uh he was the great day and i showed you there at the what's that jubilee square jubilee square So he served as the only dog ever in the Royal Navy. That's crazy. That's amazing though. How special is that about Just Nuisance, eh? Yeah, it's fantastic. I love it. Yeah. No, it's great. It's great that they're preserving his grave like that and that us as the public can still go see it. Yeah. Crazy wind. Simon's Town Naval Base. This beautiful view, my love. Unreal. But the harbour is my favourite. Oh, yeah. My throat's a little parched. <laughs> Would you like something to drink? Yes. Are you talking about something other than the cool drink you just bought? Yes. Um, something more exciting. You show the way, I shall follow. Okie dokie, let me go find a spot. Then we need to hit the road back home. Yep. Spotted this cemetery. Wow. What? They're definitely old. That's for sure. They with their backs to us now. Yeah. So we can't see any names or I'm dates. Gonna, I'm gonna park here and just take a walk. S A N D F Cemetery. Okay.
Those who rest here died in the service of the RSA. Their names liveth forever. South African police. The military. Police. Military. So it's those who died in the service of South Africa in the military and the police. Lieutenant Gilbride died the 29th of December 1946 at the age 41. Admiral Sykes, born in Dunsworth, Yorkshire, 1868, passed away in 1933. I'm glad you saw this. Yeah. And that big one in the middle? That's just another... Um, Commemorating everybody who's lying here. It says their memory will live on forevermore. I like these uh, plain stone and granite crosses. A lot of them you can't read. They're faded and the. Oh, with a C E. Yeah, taking its toll. Yes, ma'am. This is where we quickly stopped for a drink before we hit the long road home. I'm having a Jack Black, it's a draft, never had it before. And I'm having a mango daiquiri, I've had it before. <laughs> it's, I can't believe that the time of the year is so cold, but this view is amazing. Mm. But it's the wind that makes it chilly. Yeah. So the drinks are down the hatch and we are on our way home. What a great time we had in Simonstown and Glen Cairn, hey? Oh, it was fantastic. I enjoyed specifically that view from the top there of the whole Simonstown area. Fantastic. Yeah, and I loved the gravesite of Just Nuisance. Very special. So cute.